King Ghidorah, take me to your leader Quick to claim that he not no snake like me neither They need to take a breather He been rhyming longer than Sigmund the sea creature Been on Saturday feature Pleased to meet ya And came to wake you up out the deep sleeper Like he needed to stop well, before he caught the knee drop Even give you more six seconds No Today we are looking at a fragrance. I've actually had multiple requests to review. This one is from the designer house of Nautica and it is called Voyage. This is a beloved cheapie in our online fragrance community. Now, I have a very rich history with this house. From about seventh grade to senior year of high school, I really sort of wore three brands of clothes, Polo, Hilfiger, and Nautica. With jeans, it was Pepe and Guess, and then eventually I got into Diesel. But in grammar school, I also did Jabot and Cross Colors jeans. Blo uh, Bloomingdale's used to have a section that sold Timberland, Polo, Guess, Hilfiger, um, and Polo. And because I had a very fashion conscientious mother, I was allowed to get an item of clothing every other week. And I must have had 50 to 60 pieces from Nautica, from boots to jackets to fleeces to t-shirts to polo sports. On the fragrance tip of uh, polo shirts. On the fragrance tip, my sophomore year of high school, my mother purchased me the original Nautica scent. It came in a sailboat bottle. Um, and that one came out in 1992. I rocked that one heavy for a while. And then in college, I wore a Nautica competition uh, for a while, the one that's in the yellow bottle, which they recently repackaged um, in a different sort of light blue color bottle. As of today, I have four fragrances from this house in my collection, the original Nautica, Nautica Blue, Pure Nautica Discovery, and Voyage. And the only one that I don't really reach for is Discovery, but I do sometimes wear the others when it's hot out, as the brand does do a good job of making refreshing fragrances. Uh, they probably have released too many, but there are some good ones in their lineup, if not redundant. So before we talk about Voyage, let's talk about this house. Nautica was started in 1983 by a designer named David Chu. It was started as an apparel and furnishing company and they started off actually as um, a strictly men's wear uh, designer, a design house, but eventually did move on to women's clothing, children's clothing, accessories, home goods, furniture, and even collaborations with automakers. The name comes from the Latin word nauticus, which means ship, and their logo, which to me looks like a sailboat, is actually called a billowing Acre. And that's a type of lightweight sail that's specifically designed for sailing off the wind and reaching course in a downwind. And so this brand is very heavily inspired by nautical life and of course sailing, which is probably why all of their fragrances are pretty much aquatic. What happened in 1994 was that Nautica was sold to a company called State O' Maine. They actually adopted the Nautica name. At first, it was just called David Chu Enterprise. The brand was repurchased in 2003 by the VF Corporation. They specialize in fashion labels. Chu made that sale in 2003 for $1 million and personally walked away with around $100 million. He then went on to do a bespoke brand for Saks a brand for Lord & Taylor, and served as the creative director at Toomey Luggage for a year. Most recently, he purchased a Danish fashion house called George Jensen. Um, now, Nautica style for me sort of died out in 97 and 98. That American classic preppy look really only did well uh, for two designers that I can think of that really have withstood the, the test of time, and that's Polo Ralph Lauren and Brooks Brothers. Um, Hilfiger and Nautica really both faded. I'm not even sure how they both have stores open, uh, but I do know you see a lot of their stuff in discount spots like Century 21 and TJ Maxx. So it's definitely been a while uh, since I've seen anything Nautica for sale in an actual um, to real to current department store. On the fragrance side of things, Nautica's fragrances are done by Cody. Cody has a ton of brands from Marc Jacobs and Adidas to Bottega Veneta and Chopard. So with Nautica, they did their first scent in 1992, uh, the one that I talked about in their most recent in 2014. Currently have 20 fragrances in their catalog. Voyage was released in 2006 by perfumer uh, Maurice Roussel. You know Maurice Roussel. He did Muscat Vajour for Mal. Uh, Rokas Man for Rokas, New Harlem for Bond Number no. 9, Bogart Perron for Jacques Bogart, and many others. The note breakdown on this fragrance is apple and green leaves at the top, lotus, mimosa, and it's actually a uh, sail of a yacht accord. Swallow that. And the base, you've got cedar, musk, moss, and amber. I got this one at TJ Maxx, 100ml bottle for 20 bucks. 
never ever pay retail uh, prices for Nautica scents. Even if a new one hits Macy's, it will be at a discounter within three or four months and you'll be able to get a lot cheaper. These can sort of always be found at TJ Maxx, Amazon, Marshalls, Fragrance Net, etc. This one has a total of four flankers, but I have not tried any of them. The water break, excuse me. As far as your presentation goes on this one, um, it's actually a really nice bottle. It's heavy, Nautica Voyage. Um, it's sort of a half moon uh, shape. You've got a sticker on the bottom, I actually uh, got rid of the box. Uh, Nautica Voyage, heavy metal cap, really nice atomizer, and the cap says Nautica. Uh, and it's got like a sh blue metal um, ring and um, a sticker on the bottom so you know this is a nice bottle I have to be honest with you I think it's probably my favorite bottle that I've seen from Nautica and here's my take on this set if you're looking for a clean aquatic freshie that is going to ensure that you smell good in warmer weather to ensure that you're going to have a scent that you can really reach for any time of year and know that you're not going to offend anyone then this my friends is the scent for you it's really pleasant it's well blended, it doesn't smell completely synthetic, and it performs well. Now with that said, this fragrance has a pretty low ceiling in terms of compliments and performance, and what that means is you're never really gonna get ridiculous compliments with this one, you're never really gonna stand out, but you're always gonna smell clean, you're going to smell good, and I'd say there's a 70 or 80% chance that when you wear this one, someone will compliment you on it. I always get compliments wearing this one, and what this scent smells like for me guys is I do get that green apple accord at the top It's very green and I definitely get that apple now It's not the high quality very sort of crisp and tart apple note. That's like in Creed's vetiver geranium It's more synthetic, but it's definitely discernible Then you have a melange of sort of clean notes in the middle stages. They say yacht sail accord. Okay, fine I don't know what that might smell like and then this one dries down to a slightly woody light musk fragrance at about hour six it's a pleasant ride and this one is never offensive or jarring at any stage of the journey performance is fine i get about six to eight hours it projects for about four to five never be mode though is this a unisex scent sure but it's going to do better on a male because it's a clean sort of aquatic fragrance it's very nice to wear in the spring and summer but you can definitely wear this scent throughout the entire year and it has excellent versatility work casual night out date this one will will do its job for you in any situation if you want something like this but sort of want to step up in quality there's really i don't think anything cheaper that's better but the type of fragrance that this is like is you know you could go with cool water if you really want to step it up green irish tweed by creed millicene imperial um, if you want that green apple, Vetiver Geranium by Creed, uh, or if you just don't like this one but like that fresh idea from Nautica, you definitely should check out Nautica Blue or the original Nautica, but I think this is the best of the Nautica bunch. And if someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this fragrance, I think they'd say it's cheap, it's versatile, there's just no excuse to not have it in your collection, and it has been created by one of the best perfumers in the game. If someone were trying to talk you into skipping this one, I think they'd just tell you that there's nothing special about Voyage, there's a very low ceiling, and you're never going to blow anyone away with this one, and it's pretty boring. This one was actually really hard for me to score because I recognize all of its strength, but it's sort of everything that I preach against in fragrances, which is warm aquatics, even if this one is the best in show. But I still have to give Voyage an 8 out of 10. Nautica didn't invent this genre. Um, again, even if it's the best in show, certainly at the price point, but it doesn't perform beastly. I would be really interested in an EDP of this scent. It is excellent though. I cannot deny its appeal. It will always do well for you. And if you're really into scents or you collect, there's no way that you shouldn't have Voids in your collection. It's really good. And Maurice Roussel is a brilliant perfumer. So that is my review of Nautica Voyage, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this one. If there are any other sort of big name fragrances that you would like my take on, please leave a comment um, and I will try to get to it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, and all hail the king. And give him three cheers, fam. Like hit hit parade, do his thing for the little kings like sling blade. To the grave, put it work like a slave. Well, how the